All right, so welcome back. This is video number four, and we are going to map it out. So this is kind of the video where everything that we have discussed up until this point, all your products, how your audience is going to take in the content, how are you going to distribute the content, all of your price points, everything comes together and you're going to feel like, aha, that makes sense. This is my blueprint. Now you're going to create your own blueprint and you're going to implement it in the future videos. Now you can use any flow chart system that you want to use. You can even take out a napkin and write on it. You can even take out a piece of paper and write on it. But in this case, I'm going to be using a program called lucid chart. The only reason why I've been using this for the past few years is because I feel like it's a really good flow chart system. It's allowed me to really take things to the next level, take projects that have failed before and successfully implemented those projects. All right. So you can use anything you want, but I'm going to be using lucidchart.com. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So like I said earlier, I am going to be using a web application called lucid chart. That is lucidchart.com. And the reason why I am using Lucidchart is because I've used many different flowchart systems, diagram systems, mind mapping systems, and I still ended up coming back to Lucidchart. It's very good in terms of trying to map out your project, map out your membership site, and even map out parts of your business. And really what I found over the years is that a lot of people, they don't really map out their business. And because of that, they end up failing because as they are beginning, for example, to set up their membership site, they don't know which direction they are going into. They're uh, so into, you know, the affiliate programs or the software or the scripts. You know, I've been there and done that, I'm not saying anything that is horrible about that, but I'm just saying, that what ends up happening is you are left to kind of wonder where you are supposed to go. Now you could be using a mind mapping software, but personally, I don't recommend it. I recommend some sort of flow chart system and lucid chart. I found you really don't need the complex version. You just need the basic version and give it a try. And I'm pretty sure you'll like it. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to map out a membership site. Now, as you can see here, pretty basic, we have all these shapes and different options that we have, but really what it comes down to is trying to map out your first step all the way to kind of your last step. And by doing that, even if we come to a roadblock and you you're thinking, wow, I can't go further. I'm frustrated. You can at least see it on the blueprint itself. So you know, okay, there is a next step. I just got to conquer the step and then I can get to the next step. By creating this, you essentially will create a success plan. All right. So what we're going to do is when we first begin to map out the project, we don't have to worry about what is in order. We just kind of put everything on the diagram here and we just, what we do is we just drop ideas. So, all right. So if we think about our membership site and kind of going to video number two, video number three, we can think, all right, so what is our product? We can say, okay, our product is a bunch, uh, it's a video course or something. And, and this can apply to an ebook, a report or whatever else. So let's say we have a video course and let's say, okay, how many videos is this? And I'm going to put down, let's say 40, we'll do 50 videos. And the question being is we all know, and we should know from statistics that the reason why people tend to quit and refund is not really because of the amount of videos is is the being overwhelmed. So if you give them 50 videos at one time, you will overwhelm them and they are most likely going to refund. So the question is, how can I drip feed that? Okay. So 50 videos, maybe I'll give them 10 videos 
per week for five weeks. All right. So in this case, I'm definitely going to have to drip feed it. So I'm going to put that down. Drip feed. Now, in thinking about my audience, uh, I know my audience tends to be very visual and kinesthetic because people who tend to like videos are visual or kinesthetic. Auditory people typically will want things like podcasting and MP3 files and just the audios themselves. So maybe I'll include the MP3 files as well. And maybe to get them to actually complete the work, I'm going to include some sort of action checklist or workbook each and every week. So that means they get 10 videos per week, plus they also get this many things per week as well. So video course, MP3 files, those are just mediums. I'm going to... So if you can see here, I'm just kind of categorizing them. I'm not putting them in any order. I'm just kind of getting all my ideas on here. All right, so think about it. Are we going to have like levels? Is there going to be like a free level? Or is there going to be something like a paid level? Obviously, there's going to be a paid level, but are there going to be different levels within the paid level? So something to ask yourself, but to be honest, I wouldn't bog myself down too much about this. And you can jot down, okay, is there going to be an affiliate program? You know, now Obviously, these are things that are external, so we can look at these later, this one here. This one here would be inner. It's kind of a good idea to figure out if you're going to have levels or not. But main purpose here is implementation. So let's focus on here. So really what I want to show you is don't worry about getting in, in any order at whatsoever. Just put these down and then we'll figure these out in a minute. All right. So now that we have talked about learning style. So I'm going to stick with videos. I'm going to do MP3 or auditory folks, people who are kinesthetic like to kind of do hands-on type stuff. So they like to follow along and actually do it along the way. So we have the action checklist and workbook each week. So every week they got homework. So we can put make this as homework. All right, so we've talked about you know, what we're selling, which is a video course, break it down, how we're gonna deliver it. We're gonna deliver it via drip feeding, and who are we selling to? We, we talked about learning styles. And then we need to talk about price points. All right, so what are we doing here? So obviously, now that we know that we are distributing it on a drip feed process for five weeks, I think I'm going to do what we call a fixed term membership site. Let's see, 10 videos for the. So we could either do a one time large high end fee of like 497 or even 197 or we can do a monthly fee now i will say that trying to get somebody to join your monthly membership site up front is a very hard thing to do most people nowadays do not like to join monthly sites they're very very reluctant to doing so so unless you have some sort of front end offer you're going to have a very difficult time selling people up front all right so just keep that in mind. So if you do want to do a monthly, you probably want to think about selling some sort of even $7 upfront or even 17 or 27 or even $97 upfront, even going from a high number down to a lower monthly rate can actually do pretty well as well. So these are just some of the things that we have tested over time and found to be working. So, so in this case, I'm just going to do a high end fee of $197 uh, for the course. And let's make sure that we put it to the right place. So this is going to be this one here. And let's say that I have a different one where, okay, after they pay the course and 
maybe maybe you can add some sort of like community as an element of recurring because at the end of the day okay let me tell you a secret people buy the information initially but people stay for the community people like to join facebook groups a community a forum because if they feel like okay i can get help along the way then they're more likely to stay in a monthly membership site so actually what you could do is you could add a component of a community so we could say you could get extra training you know extra webinars extra community like a facebook community or something facebook or forum i will say facebook communities tend to be a little bit more easier to manage the forums are a little bit more difficult because you have more information but all right so as you can see here Let's just do 197 and then let's do a $27 per month. So we're going to tack that on. So essentially what is happening here is we have $197 upfront course. They're going to get all of the 50 videos, but they're going to get it on a weekly basis. And then after they pay that, they are going to have an upsell that says, Hey, would you like to join to get extra training, extra webinars? and join the community so that you're not ever left in the dark all right so there you go i have essentially created a membership site now obviously you're never going to get everything 100 percent complete as what i mean by that is you're never going to get kind of an outline of every single thing you want to do right now and that's not really the goal the goal is just to get all of your ideas on a piece of paper and then reorganize them as the next step. So let's let's do that right now. Let's reorganize it. So right now, obviously we have free level and I would recommend if you do free level, do like content marketing, do find videos here that you find people would really, really wanna pay for and then create some content, like free content around them. So you get them into the door and then you get them to a paid level. So Let's just do free level, free content. So this would be content marketing. So you could even uh, use this to kind of build a list. Let's put this in order. So obviously we got free level and then we're going to make an arrow to go from here to here and from the free content we are going to build a list like that and then we're obviously going to want to sell people into the pay level so build a list and then of course we are going to use the autoresponder system to sell the course so you're basically providing as much value as possible to get them into the paid level now of course at this point we kind of need to move things around here so i'm going to highlight this i'm going to move it down a little bit so that i can play around with things a little bit here all right so i'm going to make space right here and this doesn't have to be fancy or anything like that. Right now, I'm just kind of reorganizing them so that it under makes sense in a step-by-step -step process. So obviously, pay level, that's going to be the 50 videos. So let me consolidate everything. 50 videos, video course. I don't need this. And... I'm going to say $197 up front and delete that. And I'm going to move this up here, right here, like so. So that's the pay level is the 50 videos. 
video course, $197 up front. And then, of course, what they're going to get is they're going to get the MP3 files, they're going to get the action checklist, and this is the recurring fee here. I'm going to move this here. So let me zoom in a bit so you can see it better. But the way we're going to deliver it is we are going to deliver it via the action checklist, the MP3 files, and they're going to get it drip fed. I don't need this. I can consolidate it into here. So I'm actually going to move this over here like that. There we go. So we're going to drip feed it via 10 videos per week. And what, what I like about Lucidchart, if you notice, if I move things around, it makes sure that everything is aligned correctly. So it really makes things nice and neat. So you don't have to figure out where the grid lines are and you can really organize things in a better way. So we're going to drip feed. The MP3 files of videos. And actually, we can consolidate that into here, like that. All right, so that's a pay level. They can go here and then they get these automatically. And then we have the upsell, which I'm going to say, I'm going to consolidate that. Like that. And I'm going to do upsell number one. So if you wanted to do any down sells or anything like that, you could. Uh, but I'm going to keep it simple like this. $197 up front and $27 per month extra. And there we go. So by looking at this, we have external sources like affiliate programs. We can even add things like how are we going to promote it, which is actually part of the affiliate program that could be affiliate program that could be we could have a Facebook fan page and there we go so I'm not going to connect the promotion side to it yet but I'm going to kind of color code it now so this is the free level so what I like about Lucidchart is you can literally make it so that you can change the colors so we could have maybe a light blue like that and we can turn the pay levels or we could do paid level the 197 dollars up front and we can make this paid level maybe something like a light green and then we could change the upsell into a different color like a light orange. So all this does is it, it just allows us to kind of see color code things so that we can kind of categorize things in our brain. Maybe pink, something like that. Okay, so now, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see that we have essentially set up a blueprint and of course we can add to this as we go but this is kind of the general thing that you want to have in hand now you can see okay i've got a free level got free content marketing i got to build a list now obviously inside of these you're going to need to figure out okay what autoresponder am i going to use how i am what kind of content am i going to use who i'm am i going to hire 
You obviously can add more detail into it later on, but now you have a game plan. All right, so now you have what most people never ever have, which is a game plan. And now we can figure out how we're going to set things up. So now that you have things in hand, we can move on to the next video.